What it is, y'all, it's your old boy Pilk. We need to get into chapter 26 of Wistoria, and, uh, well, there's no way to sugarcoat it. This is gonna be a major spoiler if you have not. Well, I guess if you don't want a spoiler for season two, you know what, you're here for that. Let's just get into it. Let's go. So right out of the shoot, we got old boy here. And uh, he's like, I mean, remember, he's like throwing everything into chaos. He's losing, I mean, everyone else is losing their minds. This dude is going absolutely ham on the town. And he's more or less just kind of like lobbed uh, Will halfway across the world. And Will's just kind of like, you know, having a little pity party here. Uh, everything is going completely against his plans. And he's like, where are we? And uh, they're all the way, he says, on the western city limits. So, yeah. Uh, that, by the way, is Workner. So, yeah, get ready. Get ready. Yeah, that's, um, I i don't remember him being see-through prior to this. So I'm going to go out on a limb and say he's got a little, little bit of a, of a less than favorable situation going on here. Um, cause I could swear at least in the prior chapter, I think he didn't have a hole directly through him. So first, Rosty, now Workner. Um, yeah. Yeah. And uh, he's straight up like, Will, you're our only hope now. You, This is it, dude. You are it. And Will's like, uh... Bruh, like, Rossi's dead. Um, now you're on the way out, and uh, I don't know what I can do. He's like, how could I, as someone who can't use magic, how could a, you know, specifically, how could a sword ever change the world? And he's just throwing his little pity party here. Like, I mean, and I can't blame him. Honestly, it, 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 it makes sense. Like, he's in the most dire situation. And this is where Workner drops a bomb on him. He says he's been lying this whole time. He's like, you can use magic. There is one spell that you and you alone possess. And then Workner pieces out. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and the one thing you've been looking for this whole hit, 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 uh, like what that my guy spit it out yeah and of course I mean Will's having the same problem he's like dude you just peaced out on me he's like I um you know <laughs> uh yeah this is not going well and, of course, Finn shows up. He's like, all you need is a little willpower. But I'm tss, and a silver light that can cut through anything. Which would be his sword, of course. And, uh, yeah. Finn's like, he'll be alright. They don't know if Finn is being legitimate here. Or if he's just kind of trying to soften the blow a bit. But I'm going to go out on a limb and say, I don't know. Uh, Wertner seems to be taking a fairly permanent nap. But who knows? Maybe, maybe, maybe it's overreacting. I don't know. Maybe they have something, a way to heal people who have been um, completely disemboweled. That's a hole. Like, you could, you could just... Blah, blah, blah. Old boy's become a shadow puppet. Um, yeah, and Finn's just like, yeah, well, let's talk about you. you know, don't worry about the guy with a hole through him. He's done what he's going to do. Let's have a discussion about what's up with you. 
How you doing? How's everything going? Um, are you mentally well? No, he doesn't ask any of those questions. He's just like, yeah, the stage has been set. How has the stage been set? Two of the, your best supporting characters have now been literally impaled. Or, well, I guess in his case, fractionally vaporized. Still, this looks really, really, really bad. Um, and uh, Finn's just kind of like translating. He's like, essentially, yours is not as much a spell as it is the power of suggestion. He's like, raise your voice and shout to yourself. Or, uh, uh, yeah. Raise your voice in a shout and move yourself to action. And, yeah, like, Will's having the same reaction most of us would have. Bro, you okay? Because that's not a thing. But Finn seems pretty convinced. He's like, nothing could be more important. And he's just like, this is like the greatest pep talk of all time. Because literally Will has gone from utter and total despair to finding out that essentially, if we keep going down here, he's like, take your sword. Let's go on a quest. And the name of the spell deep inside your heart is... The whole series up to this point. The name of your spell is... Courage. Literally. That's it. I mean, think about everything this dude has done. Everything that has happened. Everything that has been going on. Through thick and through thin... Even when they like first were facing the Grand Duke and he lost his his goggles and the first time he really like fell into a pit of despair, what happened? He he literally had Sion like basically bludgeoned him back into sanity, and his whole thing has always been the ability to lead and the ability to drive himself beyond his own logical limits. I mean, it's it even says here, limiter off. Like, literally, it's just like he's unlocked Will to, you know, a whole new level. So, essentially, now Will is gone. I don't know. Gear, this is his version of Gear 5, I guess. He's gone Super Saiyan. <laughs> and you see this, this, like, energy just soaring through the town. And it just essentially just vaporizes all the monsters around. Remember, these are monsters that they've just been just barely hanging on and, uh, against, I guess you could say. And you've got Edward here, and even the dwarves are like, whoa, what the hell is going on? And uh, yeah. Uh, old girl here is even like it strikes down every monster in its path. That light. And notice he literally becomes a, a beacon of hope for all the people around. And what's going on? So this is actually really cool. And I, I really, at the beginning of the series, was not feeling Sion as a character. But against all odds, he himself is standing there facing down certain doom there's no nice way to put it it is just 100 percent how this is playing out because let's be fair here sion doesn't he doesn't stand a chance he does not stand a single chance whatsoever and uh, he's still standing there like courageously like you know his lat he's trying to do everything he can to be the final brick wall and he even mentions if he were here he'd never run and that kind of goes back to the whole courage thing right so he calls him a coward but he's like that coward's braver than any of us and i'll be damned if i'm gonna let him beat me now obviously 
this is less this is Sion like growing up a lot. This is less like him just being the kind of you know, snob slash whatever you want to call him for the beginning of the series. This dude has gone through a major character arc in a handful of chapters. And now he is just as like courageous and I mean, he he, <laughs> he still does the whole, you know, ah, oh, Kakarot, oh, the carrot cake thing. But he is 100% like a commendable stand up, truly like commendable character now. I mean, even though he pretends to do it for other reasons, you know, this guy is still standing up for what's right. And uh, he's like, you know, I was always, yeah. Will shows up and he's like, you're wrong. I was always jealous and I wanted to be like you. And yeah. <laughs> Will uh, kind of appears here now with like this long flowing, like almost elfy looking like long uh, silverish discolored hair and that's pretty much where the chapter ends we will have to pick up with the next chapter and what's happening and we will cover that on sunday um i, I i'm gonna be honest with you guys when i read this i just kept going like i literally had to stop and realize how many chapters i had just binged because everything from this point you know for a little bit at least is just intense and has been intense but this moment is mind-blowing now i am fully aware that this is a trope but this is one of those like crazy awesome well-executed tropes and i am 100 percent here for it so let me know what you guys thought about the chapter so far we'll be back with more coming up really really soon let me know in the comments what you what you guys are feeling about the series cuz i'm i'm loving it